makes you wonder how those 12 year olds do it. Huh? With great difficulty. Women only have one or two or three chances at it. So only two or three times in your life will you actually be pregnant and go through a labour. And that still makes it a daunting and challenging time mm. for you. Let's just go home. No. We can just block it out, la, la, la. I think some birthing partners, whether it, it's her husband or her boyfriend, sometimes it's her mother or her sister, and they are really keen to be involved and talking them through the contractions. And, you know, if, if they are doing that and that seems to be going well and there's a good relationship between them, they just feel that they've achieved it together. It's all right. You're going to be all right. <laughs> just have to get your head together. All right, you'll be fine. That's it. Me and you'll do it together, all right? Yeah? You couldn't have to scare the one but here, you know? Have I ever let anything happen to you in your life? Well, then. It must be so horrible. Good Lord, no. There's nothing wrong with you. You're pregnant and you're weak overdue. You're fed up. There will come a time, however transient it may be, where you begin to seriously doubt yourself, and that's where the support issue comes and why it's so important to have known and trusted supporters in labour. If you are with somebody who is sympathetic but encouraging and making it absolutely clear that many, many women have been through this before and some have even come back for, for second helpings, then it's very reassuring. You asked me to be strong for you. Now, listen, you're just panicking, sweetheart. That's just relax, all. Babe. She's you're nearly just here, babe. panicking, darling. That's it, that's it. <laughs> and again. Go on, one more push. Come on, come on, come on push, Abby. Come on, push. On it, on it. It's coming out. Okay. Okay. You've just got to keep doing it, Luke. You're just well. Congrats.